everyone, it's your girl Twin D and I'm coming at you with another reading. Thank you so much to all my subscribers. Thank you for my new subscribers, old subscribers, subscribers that I don't know where they are yet, but they're coming. Thank you all for coming. <laughs> Thanks everyone for viewing my videos, liking, sharing, subscribing, and in hitting that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload my new videos and also go live. Guys, I'm going to be doing a reading today to find out what these masculines are feeling towards you in their heads, which is how they think about you and in their hearts, how they're feeling about you. So let's jump right in. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let's jump right in. Okay, what are these masculines? feeling towards their feminines. What are you feeling towards your feminine in their heart? First card, we have perseverance. These masculines are not going to give up. That's how they're feeling about you in their heart. And the orange is all about feelings. The orange chakra is about how you're feeling. And it does relate because I'm asking about their hearts, how they feel about their feminines in their hearts. And this is one of perseverance. They're not going to quit. They're not going to give up. I'm seeing 333 on my little clock. There you go. <laughs> yes, connect to God, ask him for what you want. I guess that's what these masculines are doing. Asking God for what they want, which is their feminine. Connecting to spirit. Connecting to God, praying, asking for help and guidance because they know they have this feeling for this person but doesn't know what it is, can't explain it. They have so much to overcome and it's so hard, it's so difficult and they need strength and courage but they're not going to quit. It may seem like they aren't paying you any attention, Divine Feminines, but that's because you only see them when they're not looking at you. When your back is turned, how can you see that they're looking at you? You can't, and that's why they look at you that time, when your back is turned. But that card is telling you it's coming from their hearts, that they're not going to give up on you. They're not going to quit before this miracle that entered their life, that changed their life, that made them feel something they've never felt before, before it happens, before they manifest it. Tell me more about what you're feeling towards your feminine in your heart. What are you feeling towards your feminine? <clears throat> Excuse me. Balance and the blue represents communication, or is this more purple? I don't even know. Purple, I think it's the purple which is connecting to God. So, just as before, connecting to God, connecting to the angels asking for help, guidance on this journey. Protect them 
so that they are able to carry out their duty, so that they are able to gain the strength needed to move forward to their feminines, to make things equal, to bring things back the way they were when they just started out. It doesn't matter what anybody else wants to say. All that matters is what God has to say and what God is guiding them to do because they turn to Him for guidance. Give me one more card on how you're feeling in your heart about your feminines, please. Okay, mm. I've got to stop doing that, honestly. I say that all the time, but I never do it. Oh my gosh, and every time I say one more card, I get whatever God says he wants to give me. <laughs> and forgiveness. They're hoping that the Divine Feminine has it in their hearts to forgive them. They forgive all those who have been fighting against Him, fighting against the connection, fighting against their love, all those who have hurt Him. He has forgiven those situations because he realized now that those situations could never help him to get his feminine. The forgiveness that he has given and is now feeling has brought him back to a stage where he's comfortable, where he, he just feels loved. This masculine is feeling very much comfortable, very much comfortable and content in where they are. And then I have impartiality. Seventh chakra, connecting to God again. They are really connecting to God. But that's the person that they should have gone to in the very first place to find their answers. Because only he holds the answers to every and anything. These masculines are no longer going to sit and judge and compare the feminine to whomsoever they were with before because they know that there's no comparison. This is about being balanced also. If you look at this card and this card, it's almost representing the same thing. Making things balance. These masculines are really doing their work. And the reason being because the feminines are doing their work. No more judging. It's time for action. Releasing every and anything that does not serve him. And then we have, oh my gosh. <clears throat> I don't know what's happening with my throat. I guess these masculines do want to speak. Then we have enlightenment and prayer. So it all boils down to everything that I was saying boils down to one thing, prayer. They have been praying so much and through that prayer they have been enlightened. They have been enlightened. 
their heart has been opened up. God is showing them the way to go. God is showing them what they should do, where they should be. Wake up. They're planning. They're planning on what to do next. These masculines are in the planning mode. Yep, planning to make things balance. They are, they're, they're clearing out things that no longer serve them, moving away from situation that no longer serves them. Because this love that they feel from their feminine and the relationship that they dream of when they think about their feminine is something worth holding on to. And they're not going to stop until they have that love. I'm just going to have to do this separately. I got too many cards. Now I'm just going to clarify these and see what else we can come up with. Clarify this perseverance card in how you're feeling in your heart towards your feminine. Seven of Wands. There are a lot of things that they had to defend themselves for. There are a lot of things that they had to defend their feminines for where you don't even know maybe what people have been saying. But they're finally standing up, putting up a defense. They were keeping out the emotion that they had for you, but no more because they realized that that emotion, that emotion is what kept them going. Even when they didn't understand what was going on between you two. Let me get a better view here. Any more? Any more on this perseverance? And we have the world card. Destiny. Wheels are going to turn. Cycles are ending. Cycles are ending in order for a new beginning to happen. And they don't have closure in regards to this, to this love, this, I, I don't know, I can't find the words. They can't express themselves right now. But they didn't have closure. Neither did the Divine Feminine didn't have closure. Oh, I'm seeing 10.10 on my phone. It's 10.10 a.m. Battery at 100%. 10.10.10. There you go. Completion. Completion of a cycle. The lack of closure, Divine Feminines, is completed. That's done. The emptiness that these masculines felt when they were away, when they were when they were away from you. Oh my gosh. And that you felt when you were away from them is coming to an end. All that is completed. 
now harmony is going to be fulfilled. Clarify this balance. Okay. There you go. Rushing in, my friend. He'll be rushing in with the truth and to tell you how much he feel towards you. The love that he feels for you. He cannot get over it. He just cannot. He just wants to create beauty with you. He just wants to, he just wants to be with you. He just wants to hold you. He just wants to hug you, kiss you. He just wants to be with you 24-7. And he's going to rush in to tell you that. Making things balance. Making your relationship balance. Tell me about this forgiveness card. What is this forgiveness you're feeling in your heart? Seven of Cups. This is all about dreams, emotions, choices. He was searching for purpose. He was searching for his purpose. But now he has found his purpose. He doesn't need to look any further. And he wants you to forgive him. And he also has forgiven himself for what had happened in the past. He has forgiven himself. One more card for forgiveness, please. Ah, oh, I also one. I got one. Yay! <laughs> I got the hierophant. He's just connecting to God, connecting to spirit, and he has found his true path. He knows where his journey will lead. Which is why he's, he has forgiven himself. Because he now realizes that he had no control over what happened. But what he had control over was to make the correct choice. And move towards his feminine. To create his legacy. Tell me about this impartiality card, please. How are you feeling in your heart? Two cards. A judgment. He's definitely going to make his judgment call here. He looked back on everything. He looked back on everything that happened in his life. Sifted out the good, the bad, the ugly, the indifferent. <laughs> and the only good that he found was you, Divine Feminine. Even when he was bad, you were still there. Even when things were ugly, you were still there. Some people were just in his life for a season. And the short time that you were in his life, it's like you were there forever. Which is why he's no longer going to try and compare what he feels for you with the person he was with before because there's no comparison. There's no comparison. And that's going to cause him to want to start a new beginning with you. That's his achievement. That's what he wants to achieve now. 
this ace of pentacles. A wish, a fulfillment. He's going to move on to his new venture. He's going to take this opportunity and make you that offer. Fulfilling his dreams, fulfilling your dreams. And about this enlightenment. I got patience in reverse. No longer being patient. He realized that he was out of balance. Through his enlightenment, his awakening, he realized that he was out of balance. His life was out of balance. And he's going to make plans to change this. Which is why he started praying and asking for help and guidance. Because he needs to know how to get back to the person that he loves. To get back to his six of cups. Because he's been dreaming and thinking about this person and he cannot get rid of this person no matter what he does. And now he really sees that when God gives him lemons, he should make lemonades. <laughs> ah, he should make lemonades, man. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, don't pay me any mind. <laughs> And on the bottom of the deck, I have the Five of Swords, which means this Divine Masculine is going to achieve this love, his Six of Cups, this new beginning at any cost. At any cost, even if it means he's going to tear himself apart. He's going to achieve it, and that's what perseverance is all about. Never stopping until you achieve what it is that you're seeking, that you're looking for, that you want. Let me get some Romans Angels. That's for the heart. And then we're going to do the mind, how he feels, how he thinks about you. Look, romantic feelings, your feelings are worth, are real and worth exploring. That's how he feels about you in his heart. They're worth exploring, which is why he's going to persevere, which is what's going to help him to persevere because he knows that his feelings are real. The feelings he has for you are real. We're talking about a divine masculine who was awakened here. Enlightenment, he has been enlightened. These divine masculines that I'm reading for right now has been awakened. Hmm, I just saw 222. Two, two. New love entering your life. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Just as I said, forgive. He has forgiven all those who didn't serve him in the past. Right there. Bringing balance to the family. Him, his mom, his dad. Other family members. He has forgiven. He has healed. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. That for sure he knows. He knows that because he can't get rid of the feelings that he has for you. He cannot get rid of it. Right? Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. Passion, baby. <laughs> Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. That's exactly what he's doing. Allowing his heart 
and soul to sing with joy because he realizes that when he was with you, that's how he feel. I mean, that's how he felt. Like his heart and soul was singing with joy, like he was in heaven. Nothing could get him down. Nothing could make him feel sad because of the passion that he has for you. And this is how he's feeling about you again. The second time I got this card. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. The honeymoon. You guys are going to be spending some time together. That's what he's feeling. That's what he's feeling. That's what he wants. That's what he wants. When these things happen, you guys just let me know, okay? <laughs> oh my gosh. Just let me know. I want to hear the stories. And now we're going to do how he's thinking about you. I can't find my cards. Oh. They're right here. I'm just not looking. <laughs> now we're going to do how he's thinking about you. His thoughts about you. Just to see if everything is in sync. And there's no issue or conflict between his head and heart. Okay, Divine Masculines. What are you thinking about your feminine? How are you thinking about your feminine? What are your thoughts? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why did I say it? <laughs> Why did I say it? <laughs> He's confused. There's some confusion here. I was. Was. I'm getting was. There was confusion. Not knowing what to do about this person. And with that spirit behind. The masculine. It definitely tells you that he was connecting to God to find answers. It's like he isolated himself, sat there thinking about what he should do. He couldn't find the answers. And then he turned to the God Almighty alone. What are you thinking about your feminine? Yep, I did say it, destiny. And well, you know, whenever I see my black and white, I gotta say my yin yang twin flame card, baby. Yep, he knows your twin flame. And those two cards are relating to the seventh chakra. And the seventh chakra is how you relate to God and how God relates to us and then how we relate to whatever we are connecting to God about. So he was definitely confused, couldn't find the answer on what to do regarding this love situation. Then he turned to God. He was praying on his knees Maybe just laying down in his bed, asking God for help, crying. And God opened the portal and let through the answers. And he now realized that you're twin flames. Now realizes how strong the love that you have for him is and how strong his love is for you. And that this love will never die because you're destined to be together. This love is destiny. Oh my God, I can feel it. This is destiny, baby, destiny. <laughs> there you go again. 
there you go again. Through all that thinking, dreaming, praying. He woke up. He was enlightened and he woke up. He woke up to his purpose. His new beginning. His new journey. He knows that this is going to take him on a journey. He is preparing himself for a future with you. He's now awakened to the steps that he should take. He's now awakened to what true love is. And then we have expansion. He's going to speak his truth with this blue relating to the, sh the throat chakra through to communication. God is telling him exactly what to do. And as I said before, he made his choice. He made his choice on whom to be with. He knows whom he can depend on in his time of need. He knows. He knows who has always been there for him. Even when he says, get away. <laughs> You're always there. You've never left his side. Because when he fall down, you are there to pick him up. You were sending him messages of encouragement. And now it's time for expansion, time for growth. And time of letting go off of the old ideas and focusing on what's new. And what's new is a new beginning with you, his divine feminine, his destiny, his twin flame. Anything else about what you're thinking, about your feminine, there you go. Vanity. And this is talking about letting go off of your false self. He's letting go of his false self. Things that no longer serve him. And there's a lot of communication that's going to come here. I have two cards with communication. So... You're going to hear everything. There is 33, 33. Connection to God. Connect to God. Ask him for whatever it is you want. That's exactly what the masculine did. No, it's your turn, divine feminines, if you aren't doing that. The synchronicities are there. The messages are there. Pay attention. Two, two, two. New love is going to enter your life. Are you ready? Are you ready, Divine Feminines? One more card. Hmm. Come on. <laughs> I think somebody has a counting problem. Forgive me. <laughs> we have abundance. This is what he seeks. Abundance. The divine masculine is seeking abundance. He's seeking love, peace, joy, tranquility. And he knows where to find it. 
He knows where to find it and he's going to look for it. He thought about what happened in the past, what he did. He knows that he wasn't being wise on his decisions regarding what could make him abundant. He knows that his abundance was taken away from him in the past. He knows he was being foolish financially to allow his money to be taken away from him because he wasn't being wise at all. And now we have release. As I've been saying, letting go of every and anything that does not serve him. This divine masculine, I tell you, these, these divine masculines are awakened. I can just feel it, the passion that they have. How much they have to say. They just can't say it yet. It's not time to say it as yet. It's just that they cannot believe what happened in the past. They could not believe they behaved that way. They were looking at their life and they're wondering, what happened? What did I do? Why did I do this to this person? Why did I act this way? And this caused a lot of them to cry because they realized that the choices that they made didn't serve them any at all. And then we have perception. Their heart is open with this green chakra. And the way that they are looking at things, they have transformed with this butterfly and with this bird. The messages are going to come pouring out. The way they look at things has changed and the way that they looked at their feminine has also changed because they now realize who the true feminine is, who his true wife is, who his true girlfriend is, what a true woman is. He's being fearless at this time. And he's willing to take the risk. Doesn't matter what it takes. So that he can have this love that serves him. So he can have the love that serves him. Because nothing else in the past had served him. They were just taking, taking, taking. No equal give and take. Taking, taking. Him working like a dog. And still he cannot see anything. Him providing and the only thing he sees is somebody else. Flourishing. While he was sinking. My first card for confusion number two. No balance. There was a choice that he had to make. And he felt that he couldn't make it, which is why he connected to God. And God led him to the right choice, his destiny. Showed him what his destiny is, whom his destiny is. And he was able to get that strength to make that decision about this destiny card and how you feel about it okay his destiny oh look at that i can't lie i i can't lie because god doesn't lie his six of cups his past his past lover 
His twin flame is reminiscing on his twin flame, on his past life relationship that he had with you. There you go. That's his destiny. And what I said when I saw the 222, a new love is going to enter your life, someone from your past life. There you go. It's right there. And I have temperance, being patient. He's being patient. He has found meaning towards this feminine, towards this woman that loves him so much. He has found the current meaning of love. He has found his destiny. Tell me about this enlightenment card, what you're thinking about your feminine regarding this card. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love this reading. Excuse me, the tower. The tower card. Everything now has been torn down that does not serve him. Because God has enlightened these masculines. There's a shift in his foundation. His foundation has shifted. Oh boy, my heart. Tell me about this expansion, please, in regard to what you think about your feminine. Oh my gosh. Well, his head and his heart are truly in sync. The cards are coming back. The Hierophant. Expansion, wanting to grow. He knows whom he can call on. In his time of need. He knows who will be there in his time of need. This is his legacy. This is his legacy and he's not going to lose it. He's not going to let him pass him by. Commitment is coming. A commitment is coming. Tell him about this vanity and what you think. What did I tell you about him? Getting rid of anything that does not serve him. Changing. There you go. These masculines are now the emperor. And I got this before in a reading. So there you go. Your masculines are now men. Your masculines are emperors. Standing in their truth. All the old that doesn't serve him, the old skin, the, the, the old thoughts, everything that does not serve him has been stripped away. They are now powerful creators and they are manifesting this relationship with you. Tell me about this abundance and what you think about your feminine. Again, guys... <laughs> They are truly in sync. Their head and heart are in sync. They are one. There's no more conflict. They have only one agenda now, and that's to find the passion, the love that they have for you. This passion that they have for you is overbearing. They can't handle it. They got to go and find it, and they're coming to seek it. They're coming to seek it. Tell me about this release card. Oh my gosh. I have the Ten of Swords. Oh. I almost said the Ten of Wands. I have the Ten of Swords. It's, it's, it's over and done with. 
over and done with. It's done. All the things that didn't serve him in the past, his old self has been stripped away. It's done. All those lower energies have been defeated. That's it. That's it. It's only upwards from there. Ten, completion of a cycle, an ending for a new beginning. All those things had to end, and he knows it. Now he knows it. Let me get one more card. What's this? Perception. Let's see his perception. What were you thinking about your Divine Feminine? He gained this perception by going within. I'm just looking at the major arcanas that I have here. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Six major arcanas. Something big is going to happen for you, Divine Feminines. Maybe it's the awakening of your twin and him moving forward to you, but something big is going to happen. You're not going to, ex to, to, to even... What's the word I'm looking for? I, don't even, I can't even say it. Tell you I'm so confused. I, I, I can't even say it. You're not even going to expect it. There, I just found the word. You're not even going to expect it. And those are for, that's for the ones who aren't even looking for it. Not the ones who keep on wondering, wondering, wondering. Come on, guys. It's time to get over that wondering energy. Move on with your life. Move on with your life so your masculine can come in. They want to come in. They are pressed to come in. But they cannot move because you are stuck. And if you're stuck in this energy of wanting to know when, 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 then your masculine, masculine is going to be stuck and not knowing what to do. Move on with your life. Be happy with yourself. Be happy within yourself. Make yourself happy. Laugh, smile. Go out, enjoy yourself. And while you're not paying attention, that's when everything you need in your life starts coming in. Think about it. Using this bad example, but I think it will work. If someone wants to attack you, they don't attack you when you're facing them. They don't attack you when you're looking at them. They attack you when your back is turned, when you don't expect it, when you can't see it coming. That's when they attack. It's the same thing with the twin flame journey. Only when you start concentrating on you and keep the focus on you, that's when your divine masculine is going to come in. When you're not even looking. It's going to be like, baby, I'm home. You're going to be like, Baby, I just woke up. I haven't brushed my teeth. I haven't combed my hair. I didn't wash my face. <laughs> ah, you ever notice when, I don't know, but you're cooking and you have the pot on the fire, on the stove. And that pot never starts to boil until the moment you look away. Think about it, 49, 49. Think about it. 
and then you decide what you want. Now let's get some love romance messages for what this masculine is thinking about their feminines. Okay, masculines, what are you thinking about your feminines, please? Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Notice it does not say affected. Notice it does not say that your love life is being affected. No, it's not. It's being influenced. What drives you? What you learned? In the past, your upbringing, what you learned, is influencing the way you think, the way you move. The actions that you should take, the actions that you're going to take. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate, definitely. He knows. See, he knows that's what he's thinking about you, Divine Feminine. You're his soulmate. He knows that. Now, don't ask me about no Twin Flame card. You, I don't know if you noticed that there's no Twin Flame card in this deck. But it's soulmate. It's the same thing. That's what it's saying because that's what we're asking about, Twin Flames. That's the best card to describe it. And there it, there it is. It came out. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. The Divine Masculines know that you are not his usual type. Which is why you have the religious factors here influencing the relationship. Maybe that was a part of what was influencing his relationship with you before because you're older. There's always nothing wrong with the woman being younger. I don't know. But when, when the woman is older, it's always a problem. And they were looking at that. Looking at your complexion. Looking at where you lived in society. Those things are affecting your soulmate relationship. And he's now opening his mind, realizing that you are his soulmate, you are his twin flame, you are his destiny, and nothing is going to stop him. There you go. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. He has done just that. He has taken back control of his life, and he's going to be moving towards his twin flame. <laughs> because he knows that this could be the one. He knows he has already met the romantic partner that he seeks. There you go. The Divine Masculines knows that he has already met the partner that he seeks. Because you're his destiny and he knows that. Let's get some guidance message. Please give me some guidance message for these feminines in regards to how their masculine is thinking and feeling about them. Master Jesus, the big man. Forgiveness. You are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Farther healing is possible at this time. Oh, yes. More healing is possible. Healing never stops. Every day you learn something new. Every day you can change something. Diana. Focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome exactly what you think feel dream that's what you put out to the universe that's what you get back 
Holy Hamethyst, Divine Alchemy, move beyond current challenges. Focus on what you desire. All the messages you're getting is to focus on your desires. Concentrate on what you want. Concentrate on what you want and work towards what you want and how to work towards what you want is to pay attention to yourself because you want yourself. Yourself is what you want. You, I don't know, feminines, you keep forgetting that these masculines are you. And you just want yourself back. But you have to work on yourself in order to have yourself back. Get rid of all those things that does not serve you. Hatred, sadness, overwhelming sadness that causes depression and you can't get out of it. The bad memories, whenever they come around, you get them out of your mind fast, very fast, so they don't linger and cause you to think and wonder too much. Because the only thing that you want, the only thing that's real is love. And once that is within you, and you learn how to receive love. And you can express yourself and give love unconditionally without any strings attached or without thinking about what's going to happen if you do this. Then and only then will you be able to receive the love that your masculine has for you. Freya. Phases and cycles. There is a beginning with an ever ending. Illusions are revealed and released. There you go. I just said it. Release anything that does not serve you. Those things are illusions and only love is real. Only love is real. Like you get those a lot from my cards. Only love is real. On the bottom of the deck, I have Lady Venus. Downloads and understanding. Truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm. Exactly, that's it. That's your deep insight right there. It's coming from God. That's where I get my message and that's why I give it to you. Because it's coming from the source. And the deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realms. And that's truth. That's the truth. And it's being revealed to you right here. That has been your reading. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Love you. Bye.